Hey, we're here today at a place where nearby in 1858, first oil was discovered. Yep, and in 1861, the first flowing oil rig in Canada was opened up. And we're here at Petroleum Discovery with one of our patrons, Chief Scout. Hey, it's good to have you with us today. Thank you so much. To go on an adventure. Oh, I'd look forward to it. Yeah, so there's lots of trails here with lots of caches by one of our favorite geocachers. Hard Oiler. Let's get at it. On fire. <laughs> a couple of posts over here. Let's take a look. Nope. Hey. What? It's right here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we got it, and I think they're making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> oh, hey, you smell that? Smell oil in the air? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. The smell of oil isn't always there, but every now and then you just get a whiff of oil coming down the breeze. And there are still, to this day, active oil wells in the area. And that's what you get a whiff of every now and then. By the 1880s, Petrolio is one of the richest towns per capita in Canada, all because of a foul-smelling, gooey substance extracted from the ground that revolutionized the world and bring about changes never before imagined. This is where the Canadian oil industry originated, growing from its fledging roots in nearby oil springs and blossoming in Petrolia. This was the site of the first oil boom in North America. Embedded in the tree. It's kind of stuck. Come on, don't come this way. Can you get it? It's yeah, there. I got it. Good. And on this cache, we got 25 cents for hashtag coins for kids. So that makes our yearly total so far a whopping 50 cents. But it all adds up for St. Jude's research for child cancer research. The cache is back in place, and we're off for some more. Not much left of the old Model T, but hey, if you're handy with tools, hey, it's a good fixer-upper. You got one part. There you go. Hey, I got it. Oh, you got it. Just one of those things. You turn your eye the right way, and there you see it. Yep. Yeah, sometimes you walk right past it, and just turn around, and there it is. Another one found. Hey, guess what? I got it. It's down here. <laughs> I found one. Oh, you got this one. Yeah, I got it. Here it is, right? There. It had to be here, and it's very well disguised. It looks like part of the tree. There you go. Nice. So that's a great example of a really good hide. And this is by our friend Hard Oiler. 
And he's also one of Ontario's three reviewers. Anybody know who his name is on every, every reviewer? Cash Minder. Cash Minder, yeah. Yep, there you go. Another great hide, thanks. Not a bad winter outing, eh? Oh, the, good. the sun came out to see us. Yeah, pretty good. And Chief Scout, some parting words? Well, I want to say thank you for being able to come out. Uh, I found these series very inspiring. Uh, it gave me a reason to get back cash and more. So certainly if you're wondering, watch these videos. And it uh, gave me a chance to uh, dust off my CSI hat for cash scene investigations. <laughs> it came in handy it, it today. Worked, it worked out well for you. Again, I want to thank you both. It's been very inspiring oh, to come out and see this. Yeah, it's so nice to get out with one of our patrons and, uh, you know, check out Cash Canada if you haven't yet and keep watching. There's more adventures to come, right? Is that what you say? No, I don't say oh, that. Isn't that what you say? No, darn it all. Okay. See you on the trail. <laughs> I say keep watching. There's more caches to be found. And then we all say, where will geocaching take, take you? you?